Welcome to Windows 8 channel and in this Back to Basics episode we're going to talk a little bit about the keyboard shortcuts that might be very useful in Windows 8.1. So most people, you know, I have rarely see people using keyboard shortcuts but sometimes it's fun to have a few keyboard shortcuts because it is very interesting to actually uh, be able to use some of the settings, some of the functions of Windows by going really rapidly just with a little press of one, two, three different keys together. So the first one, of course, that's very popular because Windows 8 uses this a lot, but it's still something that's kind of a little hard for those that are coming from an older version of Windows. Of course, the Windows key will open the start screen. And that's the first thing, one of the easiest shortcuts there. By using the Windows key, you'll actually go from start screen to desktop or from start screen to apps that are open. So for example, if I press the news app and I press the start screen, the start button, sorry, you'll go from start screen to the open app that you're actually using. So that's also something to know. So either it's from the desktop if you're using the desktop or if you have an app that is open it will be from app to start screen. That's the first one. Another quick uh, feature for going really fast, very often in my videos I tell you that you might search for something by going either on the start screen and pressing the search uh, icon on the upper right or going to the charms bar and you know clicking search but you can go to search immediately by just pressing the Windows key and S. And this opens the search automatically. So without you know having to go into a menu or um, you know going to that start screen, just by pressing the Windows key plus the S key, you go on search, which is a very, very cool feature, very fast. Search is very powerful in Windows 8. And that's why search is probably used much more in Windows 8 than in any ver previous versions of Windows. So the Windows key plus the letter S will bring you to the search. Another feature of keyboard shortcuts that's very, very useful is very often we go to the charms bar in Windows 8 8.1. And if you are on a touch device it's not too bad you swipe you get there very easily but on any PC that is not touched that's using mouse and keyboard going to the charms bar is a little more difficult because you have to go all the way to the corners before the charms bar shows up and it can be a little annoying so remember that the Windows key and the letter C opens charms automatically so that's another cool feature of a uh, keyboard shortcut that you can use, the Windows key and the letter C. You just have to remember the letters very often. For example, the search was the Windows key and S, S for search. Um, C for charms. So Windows key, C for charms and opens the charms bar, which is very, very nice. Now, another quick feature that is very often a um, source of problems because a lot of people don't understand um, why and you know I, I understand also that it's complicated. Some modern apps have settings in the charms bar and it's always complicated and you know what one of the most popular videos that I have is actually how to log out of your Facebook modern app and people don't know because it's kind of awkward. You have to go into the charms, into the settings to log out of the Facebook app, which is frankly a little stupid. And I agree pretty much with everybody that says, wow, this is dumb. It is dumb. Um, that I really agree with you guys. And to open the settings in the charm, there's an easy way to go there. And it's the Windows key and the letter I. It will bring you to the settings of the um, charms bar. So for example, if you open a modern app, once again I'll open the news app, and then you press Windows and I, 
all the options for that news app are available right here. So for example, in the Facebook app, if you want to log out, same thing, you'll have with the Windows and the letter I, the options for the Facebook app, including its log out options, which is quite interesting. So these are a few of the um, keyboard shortcuts that are extremely useful for pretty much anyone that uses Windows 8 and 8.1 on your computer. Another very important feature that a lot of people don't know about is remember that when you go into the browser, any browser, that's Internet Explorer, that's Google Chrome, that's um, Firefox, and, and a certain number of items, including apps that might be, um, that you might use. Uh, a lot of apps will respond to this also, to zoom in or zoom out. For example, if a text is too small, you might want to zoom in. Let's go to, uh, I'll go to computerworld.com. I'll click on an article on the computerworld.com website. And here we will take a peek at the text. So the text is here. I want it bigger or smaller. CTRL or control key with the plus and the minus. Plus zooms in, makes things bigger. Minus zoom out, make things smaller. This is very useful shortcuts once again. So um, a lot of people don't know this, but it's very useful. Some pages have really, really small text. And by zooming in and out, you are able to actually make the text much bigger. So control, for those that don't know what control is, it's the key that is marked CTRL on your keyboard. Usually there's two, one on the left and one on the bottom right of your keyboard. With the plus and minus on your uh, keyboard, we'll zoom in and zoom out of any web page. And like I said, it works on a lot of apps. So if you find that text on some apps is kind of small, uh, why not try control plus and minus? It might actually work for you and make uh, reading much easier. So these are a few of the uh, shortcuts. One last shortcut that I will, of course, uh, give you is the shortcut for printing, which is control and the letter P. CTRL and the letter P, P for print. This is how you can access a very rapid window of printing pretty much anything on your computer. So remember, control P for printing. Pretty much everywhere on your computer is going to work, even in modern apps. If you enjoy our videos, want to subscribe to our channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, maybe you have your own little keyboard shortcut that you like to use, why not share it with uh, everybody and uh, let them know how it is uh, making your life easier. If you have an app, if you have information, something that maybe you want me to make a video of and also will be helping others, uh, let me know and we'll try to make these videos and post them online. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.